Okay, it's a few days later and uh, we've finished all the crack repairs in our pool deck and we've actually repainted. Um, so, brand new paint job, all the cracks repaired, and today now we're going to finally patch up uh, the drain with new drain caps. <clears throat> so in the first video we talked about how to cut it out. Here's what it looks like when it's cut out. This is next to the house and it's difficult to kind of get down here and cut the walls down straight. As you remember we said we needed to cut the walls down after cutting the top off. Uh, so next to the house here it's kind of hard to get in with an angle grinder. Uh, but we've cut it out, cleaned it out, and this is what the drain looks like. At every seam of the 10 foot uh, drain pieces there is a pipe holding the, the uh, seams together. So you kind of go down the 30 foot length here and you'll have at 10 feet you'll have a seam with a pipe holding it together. That continues all the way down the 30 feet out to the, uh, to the, to the drain. And so again, what we'll be doing today is simply taking our new pieces, our new caps, our new caps, and uh, in video one we talked about cutting the cap off, uh, cutting down the walls of the, uh, of, the, of the drain itself to accommodate the, the lip, the new walls on the, on the new caps. We'll be simply applying a bead of caulk all along both sides here, slipping in our new caps, putting some weights on them, and letting it seal. Here's the completed job. So it's been a few days, we've come back, we've uh, caulked and inserted all of the five foot sections of our super drain cap. And you'll see now that the caulk is simply, the caulk is simply glued it in place and um, I've had people ask me why I'm using caulk and not PVC glue. But the idea here is to uh, be able to uh, remove the cap in case the cap ever breaks again. I can remove it, cut the caulk along the seams, remove it, scrape out the old caulk, put a new cap in place, and caulk it back in again. If I were to use PVC glue or cement, I'd be essentially creating a single piece drain again and then if it ever uh, broke, I'd have to go through this you know, same process all over again, cutting the cap out. Here I can simply score the, uh, the caulk and rip out the top, clean it up, and put a new one in. So there you go, folks. It's a replacement of a super drain cap on a 30 foot long deck drain or patio drain. Uh, we cut the old one out, uh, the old, cut the old cap out uh, cut the sides down, uh, caulked along the edges, and put the new replacement caps in. I'll put a link down below on the video to show you the uh, uh, locations where you can purchase uh, aftermarket super drain caps or any other deck drain caps. And um, I think this is a kind of a moderate level job, moderate skill level job. Uh, but it wasn't too difficult, it just took a little bit of time and patience. And, um, we're all done.